Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. In this video we have an amazing and challenging radical equation problem which we'll be solving for the real values of x. So let's get started. I will multiply both sides of the equation by cube root 24. So we will get cube root of x plus 6 over 24 times 24 plus cube root of x plus 9 over 12 times 24 equal to cube root of x plus 8 over 2 times 24 now 24 over 24 is 1, 24 over 12 is 2, 24 over 2 is 12. So I can write our equation cube root of x plus 6 plus cube root of 2 times x plus 9 equal to cube root of 12 times x plus 8 or we can write cube root of x plus 6 plus cube root of 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 9 is 18 equal to, we can factor 12 as 4 times 3, so I can write 4 times 3 times x plus 8. Now I can use substitutions. Let's write our equation cube root of x plus 6 plus cube root of 2x plus 18 equal to cube root of 4 times 3 times x plus 8. Now I will use substitutions. This radicant x plus 6 I will consider a cube. Radicant 2x plus 18 we can assume b cube. Then we can check the value of a cube plus b cube. This will be equal to x plus 6 plus 2x plus 18. So x plus 2x is 3x, 6 plus 18 is 24. Now we can take 3 common out. So in the bracket we will have x plus 8. You can see here, this section I will write or this part I can consider. This is a cube plus b cube. So our equation will become cube root of a cube plus cube root of b cube equal to cube root of 4 times a cube plus b cube. Now cube root and cube will be over from LHS. We will get a plus b equal to cube root of 4 a cube plus 4 b cube. Let me write equation here a plus b equal to cube root of 4 a cube plus 4 b cube. Now we will consider cubing both sides as we have cube root in RHS. So we will put power 3. So cube root and cube will be over from our right hand side. So we will be getting equation a plus b whole cube equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Now we know the formula of a plus b whole cube which we can write here. So I will be writing a cube plus b cube plus 3ab 
times a plus b equal to 4a cube plus 4b cube. Now we will take all the terms to right hand side. So 4a cube minus a cube, I will write 3a cube. 4b cube minus b cube, we can write 3b cube with plus sign. And then negative sign and the term 3ab times a plus b equal to 0. Now I can divide this equation by 3. We can write a cube plus b cube minus a b a plus b equal to 0. Again we can use a cube plus b cube identity here. So we can write a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square and then minus a b times a plus b equal to 0. Now a plus b is overall common. I will write a plus b times a square plus b square minus a b and again we will get minus a b equal to 0 or I can write a plus b times a square plus b square minus a b minus a b minus 2 a b equal to 0 or we can write a plus b times a minus b whole a square equal to 0. So from product 0 rule, we can write either a plus b will be 0 or a minus b whole a square will be 0. So from first equation, I can write a equal to minus b. And from second equation, we can get a equal to b. Now I will consider cubing both sides. So I can write here a whole cube equal to minus b whole cube. And for second equation, a whole cube equal to b whole cube. So I will write a cube will be equal to minus of b cube. And from second equation, a cube equal to b cube. Why I am doing this? Because of we have a cube and b cube known. If I will write the value of a cube in terms of x, then this was x plus 6. And value of b cube was 2x plus 18. So let us consider both the equations one by one. I will consider a cube equal to minus of b cube and then we will write here a cube equal to b cube. Now a cube was x plus 6 so I will write x plus 6 equal to minus of b cube 2x plus 18. Here also we can write x plus 6 equal to 2x plus 18. So I can write x plus 6 will be equal to minus 2x minus 18. Now I will take minus 2x to the LHS and 6 to the RHS. So we will get x plus 2x. This will be equal to minus 18 minus 6. So I can write 3x will be equal to negative 24. Now we have to divide by 3 both sides. We will get our unknown x equal to negative 8. Our first real solution. Now I will consider second equation. I will take x to the RHS and 18 to the LHS. So I can write 6 minus 18, this will be equal to 2x minus x. So from here I will get minus 12 and RHS will be x only. 
so we have second real solution x equal to negative 12 let me write here our final answer will be negative 8 and negative 12 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to subscribe our channel bye bye till next video good luck take care